What is up, everybody? This is Adorob Dan, whatever you want to call me on this channel, and I am playing Antichamber. Now, this is not the game most people expect me to play, but it's one of my favorite games of all time, and you'll probably find why very soon. If you don't know what this game is, it's like the ultimate mind bending puzzle game, and it's just so cool. And there's these little metaphorical, like, life lessons you learn along the way, like this one. Every uh, every journey is a series of choices. The first journey, the first is to begin the journey, and this whole wall is gonna be filled up with that those metaphors and those life stuff. So we're gonna hop right into it and go right here. So right here it says jump. Say, uh, I'm not gonna jump that dude, but you know what? Why not? Let's follow the random words. Ah, uh, here we go. Failing to succeed does not mean failing to progress. So, as you go through, obviously you saw there were multiple pathways I could have taken there. Um, we're, there are so many ways you can go in this game. And you're going to basically collect all these little life lessons and learn morals. So, let's get going. Some paths are clearer than others, like the one I just walked on, right? Because there was definitely nothing hidden in there. Okay, so two choices. One, two, red, blue. Let's go with red. Republican. And back where we started. A choice may be as simple as going left or right. So let's try right this time. Yeah! Choice doesn't matter if the outcome is the same. So, let's go the third way. Uh, but damn, there's only two staircases. We gotta make our own way, boys. See, when you return where you things been, where you things where things have been. Oh my gosh, I can't read. Where you return to where you have been, things aren't always as remembered. So that's the beauty of this game. Like you don't expect certain things to happen, but they do. And now this this doesn't make any sense. This bends the laws of physics right here. But who cares? This is Annie Chamber. It can do whatever it wants. And, of course, we're going to learn certain mechanics throughout the game. First of them being this door. Go through the laser, door opens, closes. First of many mechanics we're going to learn. <clears throat> Some choices leave us running around without really going anywhere. So, as you can see, we are now boxed into a room. Press escape, and we return back to this area where we can view everything we've collected so far and view the map of where we've gone. So, let's just start at the beginning. Oh, look, something changed. What a surprise. Oh, look, a new one. Taking the first step may be harder than the rest of the challenge. So, as you can see, we just walked across, like, a giant open abyss, something that's not usually done in video games. So, that's why any chamber is so cool. It just makes you rethink everything. And you don't have to be afraid ugh, of messing up like I just did. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay. <laughs> so, you don't have to be afraid of messing up. Because worse comes to worse, you hit escape, go back to the headquarters place, and I don't know why I call it headquarters, but you basically just start back where you left off. There's not much to lose whatsoever, and that is so cool, and I love it. Oh, invisible staircase, don't worry about it. Some small steps can take you great distances. Indeed, indeed. So, why not try the same thing again? looks out of reach maybe a few steps away now this back here right there right in front of me i'm not going to get there in a long time this is this right here is way later in the game and that's another cool thing i like it when games um hint forward to other times and they let you see forward but you can't get there i think i mentioned that in um oh what was the name of the game the one based on uh hypothermia winter night yeah i talked about that in that video so, not much I could do up there right now. But, I'm going to jump. I'm just going to reset that. And these little jumpy things. Like springboards. And... Oh, found it. Okay. I got it. One moment. Okay, nailed it. So, we're going to move through the magic pixie dust, I guess. And... Oh. 
Yeah. Walking. If you aren't paying attention, you'll miss everything around you. So basically what just happened is this right here is going to cleanse everything. I, I, don't worry about that, actually. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. And we're actually not supposed to be here yet, I don't think. Can I click this yet? Ugh, no, I can't. All right, let's go back to here. And let's start here again. We're going to walk. But this time, boom. And we're going to land right here. As you can see right here, it's the end. Hooray. But we can't get to it. So we're going to keep on pushing. So what can we do here again? Let's walk. Perfect. Uh, how we perceive a problem can change every time we see it. Which is, this is probably the main theme of the game right here. Because there are so many times where you just come back to something and you realize that you missed so much the first time you looked at it. So, alright. Two puzzles here. First, the eye. Second, the door that keeps closing whenever you look at it. What's this all about? Well, if, you, if it's only open when you're not looking at it, why not look away and go through? Eh? Antichamber is a beautiful game. A few steps backwards may keep you moving forwards. Alright, this this one's a little puzzling. Because you may think, oh, oh, well, I wasn't supposed to do that. I'm, give me a redo. Okay. So you may, you may be thinking, oh, what do I do with this? I walk on either side. This side is like normal because you can just see it on the other side. This looks like a portal, doesn't it? Doesn't look quite right. So let's move up. Boom. A whole new world, baby. So let's press forward. Window of opportunity can lead to new places if you're willing to take a closer look, which we just did. And look at that thing. Uh, that is going to be something we are following through this entire game. And basically, it's going to lead us. Uh, it's going to lead us to the end. And what is that? That is a gun. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there are guns in this game, and this is trippy right here. All right, so let's just wander on through. And it looks like we're not getting anywhere, huh? So, what do we got to do? We got to take these little oval thing, oval things, circle things. We got to keep looking at them. That's their mechanic. Always look at the circles. And they will guide you out. Boom. And look where we are back here. So, let's do what I was talking about basically this whole time. Retrace our steps, see if we can find anything. Lo and behold, look at that. This pathway was actually here the whole time. And what is just a dark passage? Wait a minute. Remember, look at the look at the circle. It will guide you out. That's exactly what we're going to do. And you may think, oh, look, the way out. But if you take a closer look, you can find this right here. And what do we know these do? Oh, look, it's the portal. And we're in, baby. We got the blue gun. And we are ready to roll. And actually, I think that's a good place to end off this video. So, what do you guys think about this game? Do you want me to keep playing it? Because it is probably my favorite game of all time. One of my favorite games, at least. Um, so let me know if you want to keep me to keep playing this. I would love to. Absolutely. I'll play through this whole game. I don't even care. But um, it'll be less of me talking about the game in the future and more just kind of me playing it. So, if you want to see that, let me know for, for the third time. <laughs> let me know. And that's about it. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, remember to hit that thumbs up button. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.